about a month ago, my wife and I were headed to lunch and uh, we had just dropped off um, our puppy to his grandparents. And what happened was, uh, as we're coming down Golden Triangle, headed toward Keller, uh, not the car in front of us, but the car um, in front of the vehicle that was in front of us, we we're all going through a red light or going through the intersection. And it turns out that they may have ran the red light that was in front of us. Uh, and another car hit them since they ran the red light. That car flipped and rolled twice before it came to a stop. And on the second roll, I saw uh, a person get ejected out of the vehicle. And at that point, my wife, who is a nurse, um, a registered nurse, uh, she was actually Timber Creek's first school nurse here as well. Um, she was in the car, of course, and I immediately said, oh my gosh, somebody just got ejected out of the car. And we immediately, you know, I, I checked to make sure that it was safe. We immediately pulled right up to the accident. And that's when uh, we saw that it was a full SUV, full of an entire family. And it was just screaming, uh, you know, uh, they are yelling in pain. Uh, the vehicle was completely demolished. Uh, the young man who was on the ground was literally just a couple of feet uh, from being crushed by the vehicle when it righted itself. So my wife immediately went to give him assistance and um, I went around and checked the vehicle and pulled or, and, and opened the vehicle and checked the status of everybody else. Um, and we had emergency vehicles show up within five minutes. I spoke to 911 as my wife was working with him uh, because he, had, he was, he was uh, just a complete uh, mess. Uh, to, to describe it, just a, a blood, just just filled with blood, covered in blood, and my wife was getting all the blood on her as well and everything, and his sisters were also on the accident, has three sisters, and uh, the whole family, a vehicle of almost filled with about six people. I went around the vehicle and also found a, an elderly woman who was flipped upside down and had her feet actually through the windshield. Um, and that's when I also noticed that she might have had a spinal cord injury after I asked her some questions and such, of, such and so forth. Um, within 30 minutes, um, everybody had cleared the scene, but it was a, a, just a horrendous uh, sight. Uh, they had Carefly come out, several other ambulances came, and it was hard for my wife and I because after the incident, we didn't know what happened uh, to that family. Um, so on the following day, my wife did find out that he was taken to a certain hospital uh, we were lucky that we were able to get his last name from his sister before we left the scene. And uh, once we found out his name, uh, just by happenstance uh, on, the, on the internet, we found out that he was a student possibly uh, at a Saginaw Middle School. And uh, I proceeded to, to try to find any information. We found out that uh, a name similar to his name was a cross country runner. No pictures of him or anything like that. Uh, but I called uh, the cross country and soccer coach there and found out that he was one of their athletes, a uh, 13 year old boy, and uh, that he was uh, in the hospital. And uh, 15 minutes later, his uh, ESL, uh, an English teacher, called me back uh, with permission from his mom. Uh, the lady who was taking care of him is actually his adoptive mom, uh, and the family was fine. And he just had a major. Uh, uh, how can we say, uh, scrape on his head, and he took the brunt of it, luckily, of being ejected on his shoulder and his back, and that's what saved him. And my wife uh, um, intervening, and uh, our participation in, in that event uh, was able to help that family out. Uh, the elderly woman that they were taking back home, uh, sadly, was paralyzed from the chest down. We did find out, and the bake sale uh, we got invited to from uh, his teachers was a bake sale uh, that the school was holding for his family and medical costs and everything like that. And so uh, two weeks after the accident, it was a, a joy for us, my wife and I. We were able to go uh, see, his see the bake sale, but also go visit his family at their house. And uh, we were able to see uh, him and his sisters, and they're all doing fine. So you know, it was a... Uh, it was an incredible event, and uh, the craziest thing is I never go that way, uh, down that street. And for whatever reason, uh, my wife and I made that turn and uh, were, were a part of uh, that, that whole incident. And uh, I think uh, it was a blessing for us that we were there to help that family. So it was pretty neat.